Hi, I'm Mark Camosio and we're here at uh, Pete's Air Gun Farm and I'm here to show you the uh, Air Arms S510 TC or twin cylinder and um, it's a, this is a particularly impressive air gun um, sort of aimed at the market that will be going for buddy bottles um, but it's Air Arms is quite clever um, option which is um, basically uh, obviously not a buddy bottle but it, what it is is uh, it's combined two air cylinders to get the um, air volume so if you can you can see there there's two parallel uh, air cylinders joined and then uh, with a central valving so they're all in within the same um, chamber effectively as far as charging um, but you've just got um, a very unusual rifle um, which I think is just so much more streamlined than a than a buddy bottle design um, obviously with buddy bottles you're sort of reaching forward normally holding them you can't help but hold a cold steel bottle at times um, with this you've got a sporting stock which does reach out to the front so your extended forearm um, is mainly touching wood and it's all very civilized and um, rather well made obviously it's usual air arms quality so it's uh, cnc machined uh, it's got a lovely matte finish to um, uh, pretty well all the metal work actually there might be a small panel of bluing there but this is sort of parkerized um, matte coating all over the twin cylinders and barrel and barrel shroud um, so as I say you've got two the main selling point with this is the shot count um, now again with several of their models they'll sell this as either a carbine so with a shorter length which this is actually uh, specified as carbine you can see it on the breech bot here um, so you've got uh, shorter cylinders uh, and barrel and um, the full length rifle version now in 177s obviously they do various calibers but just to give you an idea in 177 um, carbine um, you get around about 110 shots um, this is a 221 so you'll get uh, you'll actually get 160 shots which is already quite significant go to the rifle spec um, and in 22 you're getting 275 shots so you can see the benefit of this configuration without any ugly bottle um, so it's really quite quite impressive I'll just show you here which is interesting that's the conventional T-bar air arms valve uh, the safest one on the market in my opinion because you lock, you have a brass coupling if you're not familiar with the air arms you've got a brass valve coupling with a slot cut in it you'll slide that over the end that's coming from your airline you'll slide that over and that literally locks once you twist it the t-bars locked it in place so you can't come off um, in under um, high pressure when you're charging the interesting point here is that's a dummy valve cover it's only the one that comes off and then you're charging air into right the way through the system to fill both cylinders so uh, it's quite clever they've they've given you a dummy valve end there so it all looks um, very neat and finished off, but so you don't have to worry about the other cap. Um, you've got a threaded muzzle for a, an additional silencer if you wanted to. That comes out there. And um, actually, I do apologise that may. Oh yes, no, sorry, it is threaded, so you could put an additional um, secondary silencer on there. Obviously, you're going to probably ruin the aesthetics of it and uh, go make it a bit too long but um, you, you can do it which is which is nice uh, part of the design as well you've got the f510 um, action pretty well so you've got that very slick side lever uh, i hope you can see that there very slick side lever as opposed to a bolt um, so you're just cycling that every time and uh, it's it, they're sort of gaining ground now with side levers as more and more rifles are fitted with those in preference to a bolt at the rear um, they'll both do the same job but these are just feel very slick in operation you've got a little bit of leverage and um, it all it all feels that bit slicker than a normal bolt um, so you've got that system there part of that system also is the uh, 10 shot rotary air arms magazine there so I'll just I'll just cop the action and then the magazine block will pull it out. Oops, that was clever. We don't want to do that because you'll get mud on it. But uh, that's the conventional air arms magazine. Um, what I like these as well in preference to a lot of designs, 
there's no sprung central drum you haven't got to worry about direction you haven't got to worry about which shot you fired and whether you're back to zero etc there's no complication it's just a central drum very well machined inside a cassette and uh, once you've filled it up you can see exactly where your shots are you just push that back into the housing against the back plate so it's fiddly when you're not looking at it properly that's it snaps in lever shuts and you fire away um, you've got a two-stage trigger here which is um, obviously lifted from the 400 and 500 series um, as standards two-stage um, release uh, proper two-stage so it's actually the first stage is also affecting the sears um, and that's been sort of proven in in competition as well as something else <clears throat> but obviously this rifle will be aimed more at the hunting fraternity um, especially with the 10 shot uh, um, magazine in tow stock wise it's quite a nice little um, uh, stock this is sort of similar to their um, ultra lights and you've got this sort of cut out uh, where to get away get to dispense with unnecessary wood got quite a nice soft rubber butt pad um, checkered grip and uh, it all works rather well I'll just quickly show you how fast the side lever is in action I'll just do that so it's pretty well as fast as you can cock it you're cycling the next pellet and uh, uh, indexing the magazine so you've got a very fast backup shot so as I say as a um, specialist hunting rifle with um, a lot of class and uh, a lot of originality the um, S510 twin cylinder certainly takes some beating.